ethnic Indians constitute 8% of Malaysia's population of 28 million. The British brought them into the country mostly to work in rubber plantations. Analysts say while there is now a handful of rich Indians, a large number of them still remain poor. Indian leaders say both the government and federal opposition have not done much to improve the living standard of ethnic Indians. The opposition has also been slammed for failing to address the needs of the Indian community in their recent election manifesto. But the Democratic Action Party, the biggest party in the opposition Pakatan Rakyat Alliance, has come up with a declaration to tackle the grievances of Indians. The 14-point plan is actually a work in progress. Uh, it involves consultation with non-governmental organizations, uh, members of the party, uh, academics. Uh, so it's a work in progress has been going on for some time. And some of which is, has already been included in the Pakatan Riots Manifesto. Uh, but there are others that are work in progress uh, that we would negotiate now with uh, our partners uh, uh, to see how we can take it further. Opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim and the Islamist party PAS have remained silent, raising questions about their commitment to the declaration. For the first time in the 2008 general election, Indians voted largely for the opposition. But analysts say the opposition's failure to capitalize on Indian discontent, plus measures taken by the government, may help reverse that voting pattern. Analysts say the ruling Barisan National's policies, including two rounds of cash handouts to the poor, may have helped win back rural and working class Indian support. You know, Barisan National has tried to address some of these problems. They've done programs where they funded uh, civil society organizations working directly with the Indian community, uh, providing documentation for those people who were previously undocumented, and then making the steps to include the Indian youth, the younger members of the Indian community, into skills and training programs. Prime Minister Najib Razak must call for the next general election within the next three weeks, after which time his mandate runs out. And Indian votes will surely help determine who forms the next government. Maheshwari Ramakrishnan, Press TV, Kuala Lumpur.